next video I will show you how to create this multi-step form using Alpine.js which is really quick and easy to make so let's get started so here is a onboarding form for the job application or anything first we need to select the area front end and then technology related to front end can be displayed and how much years of experience on each technology after user selects this and then send next they will fill up their profile and then submit the application so we can fake fill it and then submit it and after submission during submission we need to disable this button and after submission is successful or if there is any errors then we need to display that as well so let's see how to create such kind of form in laravel using alpine.js so here is um, let me display you web.php first i have just simple one route with a view on board and i'm passing some options variable from here and then let's go to the blade view so by the way i'm using laravel breeze and these components will be there by default when you use those and if we quickly see how the alpine is set up on these kind of projects are uh, there is app.js where you'll get all these alpine installed by default whenever you select the alpine and blade option and yeah you can also quickly in integrate it using cdn as well so let's focus on the form so here we have the x data with uh, this function is used to initialize all the data required on this form we'll visit that in a moment but basically it will contain all the steps and here we have two forms for now quickly take a look at the checklist what kind of things we need on these kind of multiple step forms one is of course there should be multiple form and we have to do validation on each step and we need to push it to browser history so that browser back and forward button will should also work and disable button or show loader these kind of things are also necessary so i'm creating the component so that it can be used on your project as well i will put this on github uh, quickly let me explain all these so first and uh, first thing we need a form i am putting those in these two sections so whenever the current step is step one then this form will get displayed and similarly if step is two then other form is getting displayed and these steps will be changed by the button which is this next button on each of the form we need to put uh, this next button in each form and whenever this is of type submit whenever we submit then we are calling the next step in first form so it is important to put this at the rate submit dot prevent because it will also trigger a browser validation suppose you have created uh, this form and you have make this required then there is already the browser level validation for required field as well so that will also get triggered uh, let's see this in action this is the first form whenever we hit submit then please select an item in the list get triggered all right and here whenever we select the first form over here whenever we select the area uh, whether it is front end back end or anything we are putting that on form data dot area the form data dot area over here
and so whenever we select this the change event will get triggered and what this does is update technology this will uh, put selected technology as well as uh, this will initialize the experience for each technology and whenever we select uh, anything so it will conditionally uh, put the options on the second field which is technologies so whenever i select this then technologies it will be automatically get published by this logic so here i have put this at the rate json to show you how easy it is to uh, pass the data from backend or blade view into our javascript uh, block so here i am sending this backend technologies from backend to this blade component and then it is getting rendered over here so you can do for these as well i've just uh, displayed that and uh, yeah this is the blade directive for rendering the json so after uh, we select any of these then in the technologies field we will call this update experience field on change event then we initialize for all of the technologies that we select we loop through them and then initialize this data with all the experience and we will also loop through each of them and display the experience over here now you can check this code on github i'll put that there so i'm just displaying how it can be done and um, in second step also we will need this kind of form and whenever we submit it it will again call submit and here we have a new method this time submit form which will handle our ajax um, call to backend and we have uh, we need to pass this csrf token which is already available as a meta tag on the layout file whenever you install using laravel breeze or you can put that on here we have cast.blade so this meta tag is already there and we send all that form data as a body and whenever the response is successful so whenever we initiate the response we have to make the lo loading equals to true so that we can disable any buttons in this case we need to disable uh, this uh, submit button and whenever after this is successful then we need to make it false and also check if there are any uh, validation related errors if there are any then we need to initialize this errors variable with the uh, error from the backend and these errors will be displayed off here by running the loop on this errors object and we can display all the errors here so right now i'm uh, validating this so all the logic will go over here for any of the submission related logic this is just the validation i'm doing if there is any error then default json structure will be sent so one thing here we need to accept json otherwise it will redirect it only if we accept the json response then we get the error as a json so let me show you what i mean by this let's put something next now uh, let's let's not fill anything or uh, let's for now what we can do is so there are other fields as well let's not fill these so that we we trigger the validation error let's fill up these and i cannot uh, this is disable and then i get please uh, please correct these fields selected technologies experience field so these are on previous step uh, we need to we can what we can do here is uh, we can map the errors to the step and then we can just simply do if if these errors are present then uh, take them to this dot step equals to one or two we can add this and that logic here easily 
and one last thing that we need to do is uh, see how I'm changing this um, so that browser back button also works otherwise it won't work whenever you hit back button it will just take you to the previous page suppose there are three or four steps and user is on this uh, step uh, let's say user is on second step whenever you hit back it will just take you to the original page and not to this step so in order to make this work what we need to do here is first thing whenever um, page is in it this is the pop state we need to listen to this um, event and whenever anything changes on the uh, query parameter we need to get that from the query parameter and take the user to that particular step and whenever we hit next button we need to push that into browser step as well so whenever I, I hit the next it will find out what step is we just move to and then append that into URL let's say if I hit next it will append to and whenever we go to back then this function will get uh, triggered pop state and it will check what step is we are currently in and then change the step accordingly let's say i make it two and refresh yeah it will work like that